the final part of this module, and it's a short one, is humility. Remember, we've talked about it a bit a couple of times. Let's have a look. What does it mean? Okay, we're talking about discovery with an open mind. Remember, why an open mind? Why humility? Well, when exploring new territory, you don't really know what to expect. We need to look out for unusual patterns. We talked about sensing mechanisms earlier in uh, we talked about you know, the metanational and strategic agility. It's important to know one's own biases and your emotional commitments, what you do like and don't like, so that you can hopefully just set them aside and listen, observe to the market. And then open mind because there are many realities. Again, a rock is a rock, but human beings are different. And we all have our own social and personal situations. And therefore, what is subjective is objective. By that I mean, you know, it might be subjective, everyone might be different, but it's observable. We can measure it, we can look at it, and we can learn it, we can know it. So, important mind, open mind, helps us be open to things that we might not expect and might not even be part of our normal consciousness. And now, why humility? Well, you might not like what you hear when you're talking to customers or you observe and they see they don't like what you've done. You put a lot of effort into bringing your product to market or service, but nobody cares, nobody wants it. You need to start again. Sometimes a deep redesign. If you go back to thinking about design thinking, the approach. And then perhaps your baby is ugly. Imagine telling a parent that their baby is ugly. It's not easy. So approach this part of the journey, the task of discovery, with humility. Because remember, no customers, no sales, and no business.